Thanks, Doug. We are live in Swamico. We're spending some time at Barkhausen Waterfall Preserve. Yeah, Matt Creasy, the park supervisor there, joins us live with more. How you doing, Matt? Hey, I'm not too bad. At least it's not snowing out. I'm staying positive like you guys here today. Absolutely. Good job, wow. Matt. But yeah. We're all out. <laughs> we are we are outside and it's not too bad outside but what we're going to talk a little bit about is waterfall nesting um, regardless of spring weather is here or not the waterfall are still triggered to uh, begin nesting and what we have here is there's a giant canada goose out on one of our islands and she is sitting on her clutch of eggs last week she had laid those eggs anywhere maybe from uh, five to a dozen eggs underneath her right now and she's trying to hide from us you'll see her head is hunkered down low so Kind of hard to see, but with a good camera, you can zoom in on her there. And then the gander, which is the male goose, he is about uh, 50 yards away from her, um, hunkered down on the ice on the other side with his head down. Although he's not hiding very well on this ice and snow, um, it might work a little bit better if there was some water out there. But interesting thing about giant Canada geese, uh, Mr. Barkhausen, who had donated the park here, Back in 1940, he had bought six pairs of Canada geese from up in Ontario, and he is very well known for reinstating the giant Canada goose into this area. So whether you like him or hate him, um, he can be uh, attributed to some of these um, uh, successes on giant Canada geese that we see today. So with the cold weather, the geese are still triggered. They're still out on their nests, and I'm sure there's many more out here on the preserve that are nesting. Uh, along with our, our ducks as well. I'm sure there's plenty of ducks out in their nests. The main thing is they have to incubate them for about 30 days. So as long as that female stays on her nest, keeps those eggs warm, they should be a successful hatch. And yep. if something happened where it wasn't a successful hatch, they can re-nest two or three times after this as well. So. And I was, I was impressed to learn, Matt, that, that geese also have the ability to steal other geese's young, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, it, maybe not necessarily stealing, but it's basically that way, yeah. Uh, once, they're, um, once they raise their brood, typically it can be up to three families will get together with one adult, and that one adult will lead them to a, a safe life, I guess, for that first year. Although the other, other adults are typically around the area, um, it's usually, yeah, one or two adults that might raise up to 30 goslings or so. Mm. Very interesting, yeah. Right, so they're the, the top parents then. Yeah, exactly. Really interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, and their divorce rates, their <laughs> divorce rates are pretty low too. <laughs> it's good to know. Thanks, Matt. Thanks.